With the delivery of the cryostat base, everything's going to change in Tokamak Hall. This base is the first building block we need to build up the rest of the Spark assembly. It's no longer bits and pieces off to the side. It is a large chunk of the build that we are going to build around for the coming months and years. Up until now, there's been a glaring hole in the center of the Tokamak Hall. In a couple of days, the base will be set in that position, and that's what we build our entire future around for the remainder of the Spark build. There are four main functions of the Krastad base. First, it's taking the gravity load of the entire assembly, so the whole tokamak gets built up on top of this base. The second primary function of the Krastad base is it serves as a conduit for all the items that need to come outside of the base, up through the base, and into the tokamak itself. Third is it acts as neutron shielding. It's about a meter of radiation blocking between the, the tokamak itself uh, and the basement outside of the cryostat volume. And finally, number four, the most important of all, is it acts as a, a vacuum boundary. This helps keep the magnets cold, helps keep them efficient, and keep us isolated from this outside environment we have here at room temperature in the tokamak hall. The process of getting the cryostat base designed and built has been a, a multi-year effort. The base wrapped up in 2024 in Italy. It took a very fun journey from the hills of Italy to our lovely site here. The delivery of the Cryostat base is a very significant milestone for the whole Spark team. It really signifies kind of a new stage of work for the Tokamak assembly team here in Devon's Mass. 